today we're going to learn about the famous painter Gustave Klimt. Now he had a very particular style and he used patterns and repetition to make beautiful fabrics within his paintings, like for example on the dresses or in a quilt. So let's go ahead and take a look at Gustave Klimt. Gustave Klimt painted these paintings. He was a painter from Austria. Um, he was born in 1862. Uh, that was the time that Abraham Lincoln was alive, and he died in um, 1918. So if you look, these paintings are very similar. There's a lot of pattern, a lot of repetition in his fabrics. Let's take a look at his life. Uh, these are pictures, photographs of him, which is unusual because not everybody got their photograph taken back then. Sometimes if you wanted your picture taken, you had to have it painted because um, photography was not that uh, prevalent, was not that, um, there weren't a lot of cameras at that time. But anyways, uh, he actually did make a lot of money in with his art. We're going to talk about that in a second. But he lived in Austria, which is a country in Europe by Germany. He went to the Vienna School of Art, so he did go as an artist. He began by working on projects like murals, which is painting on the wall, for businesses and homes of the wealthy. But he was frustrated because these jobs didn't allow for any artistic freedom. That means he couldn't do what he wanted. He had to do what the client wanted. But he begins painting what he wanted from 1918 to 19, or excuse me, 1900 to 1918, and he dominates the art world in Vienna. Sometimes he even added real gold to his paintings in the form of gold leaf, which is a thin sheet of gold. Uh, so real gold is in some of his paintings. Um, his most famous painting is The Kiss. And we'll look at that in a second. But if you look at his picture up here, he was a very wealthy person because he made a lot of money from his paintings. But he did not live, he lived more like a, a poor person. If you look in the second picture, that's probably how you would see him on a daily basis. Because he didn't really think about appearances, he just wanted to do art. And you can see he has a, one of his um, pet cats in his arms. He is known for his highly decorative patterns. Uh, here's a baby way up here in this little baby quilt. This is his most famous painting in the middle called The Kiss. And this is a portrait of one of his female friends. Um, so this was done in 1917. This was done in 1908 and 1907. These are closer together in time and that was kind of his golden period when he would put actual gold into his paintings. So pattern and repetition are two of the things that he really um, was known for. Here's some close-ups of some of his paintings and you can see their patterns. They're very decorative. They're designs basically. And so uh, this is what he was known for. This is what made him famous. This is what we are going to do for our project, and we'll be doing that next. I hope you liked Gustav Klimt. Bye.